Okay, guys. <clears throat> so I had another video for you today, but I wasn't sure if it's going to be as interesting as the uh, drawing the weekly comic or something. Today I'm going to go over a lecture I gave uh, at one of our writing club group mem uh, meetings, and just kind of doodle while I do that. So one of the things that you have to deal with if you're a writer or artist or anything really is the block. Forget I have this set up. There's the zoom. Oh, yeah, that's good. So the block. At some point in your career or hobby or whatever, something's going to happen in your life or a lack of something that's going to cause writer's block. I drew it as a little cube. It actually features in one of my comics, one of my characters, who's a writer wizard. If you've ever read My Editor is a Dragon, that's who it's from, but probably most of you haven't seen that one yet. So maybe I can reboot that. Anyway, this little guy is a wizard. He's a good wizard, but he wants to be a writer. So he writes, but then one day he finds someone's left him something on the porch, and he doesn't know what it is, so he brings it inside, and then he finds it's hard to write. So he's got the block on his desk. And I guess the funny thing is, if it's just kind of affecting him, it's really small like this, but if it's really messing with him, it grows to like this ridiculous size of blockness. So the reasons you may have this, uh, maybe passing of a loved one, you break up the relationship, you lose a job, you have to move somewhere, something like that. But there's a difference between grieving and just being stuck. So if you're bored, uh, if you're, you know, you just don't want to or just stare at the blank page that's different than if there's a reason for you not being created boredom does happen but sometimes you just got to press through it there's nothing else to do so there's a few things you can do you'll notice i have my little notes over here uh a few things you can do to deal with the block and i'll scroll this down oops that was way far down oh i did it in the middle okay that's no good you can consume media that helps Consume it preferably in whatever fields you're making. Like, so if you're making comics, you might want to read some of your, uh, you know, contemporary work. I, I, you might not use the word peer if you're an amateur like me, but um, read some of that. You might, you know, watch some movies. Netflix. I wouldn't suggest binging, binge watching a whole season. That doesn't seem to end well, <laughs> at least for creativity. Or um, just go for a walk. You know, sometimes just he's running. Can you tell he's running? He's up with the little arrow direction. Okay, <laughs> go for a walk. You know, something else. That's more of the take a break. But also go back to the works that inspired you. If if you really liked some book about dragons or uh, whatever, whatever. That was more like a mud puppy. <laughs> That's not a dragon. Don't ever draw from your imagination because you never know how it will end. Give him that little tummy there. He needs a tummy. Maybe some eyebrows. A little snaky thing going out of his mouth. Anyway. Go back to the things that inspire you. One of the things that inspired me is a 1980s movies, movie called uh, Flight of Dragons. It's about dragons. And uh, this guy, Peter Dickinson, had written a book called Flight of Dragons. And I, I haven't read that one. It has, it's, I think it's more almost like a fictional, speculative textbook on dragons. But they borrowed material from The Dragon Knight by Gordon R. Dixon, who's one of my favorite authors. And I've read a lot of his books. And, I, and the movie borrowed a lot of material from his work since it didn't have enough from the original book to fill it up. So there's always something. Go back to the things that inspired you that made you want to create. You know, if it's a YouTube channel or a video game or whatever it is, go back to those things. You might be surprised what you find. And then, uh, if all else fails, take a break. Now, I don't, I'm not saying that you should, uh-oh, what happened? What happened? Oh, I think it, sometimes my stylus doesn't work on this comp. Oh, that's a fat head. There we go. There we go. That's actually Mabba from my comic. I don't know why I'm drawing her, but 
I am. Very simply, I might add. She features in uh, Mackay Mart. If you've read last year's annual, and if you've not, that's cool. I do reference a lot of this. I'm not trying to plug. I'm just trying to explain where they come from in case you're curious or whatever. So I'll take a break, you know. Take a nap. Well, do whatever you got to do. To get back in the groove thing. I guess that's like a... It's supposed to be kind of like Kirby when he eats the sleep power, but whatever. Maybe that's better. Yeah, I like that better. So I guess this is a pretty short little video. That's all I really wanted to talk about, except I guess I can give you my own personal experience with the block. A few weeks ago, my mom uh, had a injury, and so she was pretty much incapacitated uh, for a while. And I had to take care of her. And we have uh, four dogs and a cat. We have three puppies that are going to be a year old soon. And then we've got a dog and a cat. Well, um, unfortunately, where is the... Oh, yeah, that's right. I want blue. What kind of blue? Blue, not yellow. Probably like that. That's good. I want to do this one. Um. Anyway, she was laid out, and while she was laid out, and I was taking care of her, I didn't have any creative energy at all. I didn't journal. I didn't write. I didn't even doodle. I need to be a little bigger on the brush size. So that's one of the things I'm talking about. Like, there may be times in your life where you just don't have the energy. Maybe you're working two jobs or something, and you're finding it very difficult to create, and that's okay. That just happens. Just get back to it when you can. You may lose a little skill from not practicing, but uh, you can practice, even if it's just redrawing your old drawings or looking up reference images on Google Images on your phone, which is how I look at a lot of my drawings, is I will go to Google. Go to Google Images and find... Uh oh, what's it doing? What's it doing? Let's go ahead and save it. A block lecture. No, it's not gonna fix it for that. So I need a little bit of green there. Green shoes. Yes, she is green and blue. But not really a pretty green or blue. I don't know why I did that to her. But not all of your characters can be pretty, right? Actually, that's a better color. Oh, how do I? Okay, I want it to be... Which direction? That's getting there. Oh, that's okay, I'll just deal with it. Uh, anyway, she got better and I started creating again. But, you know, there's some point in my life as an only child where it's just going to be me. Barring me getting in a relationship, which I would like that one day, but I'm not really sure that's what I want at the moment. And I'm going to color this one like Cedric. The editor and my editor is a dragon. But I will be grieving for my parents. We all, we're all, if we live long enough, we're going to grieve for somebody. And that's human. That's not something to be ashamed of. And I guess it's different than depression because... In my, in my experience with depression, if it's grieving, you know what causes it. If it's depression, it's almost like it's in your subconscious, like it's tapping at the back of your mind, but you don't really know exactly why you're depressed. At least I don't when I get depressed. Maybe you do. Maybe you're different. I don't know. But um, that's just something you got to deal with. Well, I think I'm going to wrap it up for this video because I'm learning out of things to say and I have a little left to doodle, but that's okay. We can continue some other time. I think I hit all my talking points. Um, so anyway, I hope you enjoy and thanks for watching and have a great day.